you can see this little hump here it's got rocks on top it's absolutely perfect when you get into that mid to late July and those fish are done with post spawn and they start to school up out deep okay we're just coming up to the very edge of it I don't fully see it yet, but we're just gonna fire a bomb up there and just see what we get. Oh, oh shoot, first cast. Came back. Okay, got spot lock hit. That is how easy it is to fish this offshore structure. We just rolled over that spot. I showed you it on the, on the side imaging there. It was a little hump of gravel and rock right off the edge of the main spot I'd been fishing. I honestly forgot it was even there until I rolled it and just saw it. First cast, we weren't even to it yet. And that fish hit the spark shed on the fall Missed it, let it go to the bottom, came back and hit it again. When they do that, it's almost a sure sign there's multiple fish in the area and they're grabbing it and trying to get out of there before another fish takes it. Okay, so I got the rocks here, 360 showing me the spot. We're gonna drop that spark shad right out, right across the middle of this little hump here. Scattered gravel, a few bigger rocks on the right side here. Holy smokes. Look at this big one. Holy, look at that big one. Look at that one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, God. Look at that spark shad. It is absolutely in there. Shoot. Right. There. That's a big one. Oh. Another one, same spot, 360 pinpointing the exact same cast after you catch a fish. Absolutely pounding these big things. This is what happens when you use your electronics, get out off the shore, especially in that midsummer range. Put the time in scanning, looking for rocks, weeds, sunken humps, sand patches, gravel. You find the key areas, you put the right baits in front of them, and you can smoke a bunch of big quality fish like this.